So weekly, I'm going to answer questions uh, that I get asked a lot, either on IG or email, or um, I'm just getting prominently from a lot of coaches and athletes that are asking. And uh, the biggest one I've gotten recently was how to increase my um, step um, of phase in the triple jump. So you got your hop, your step, and then your jump, or the second phase. Um, of the triple jump and really it, it's it's a component of a few things so first is if the athlete comes off the board balanced um, so that means that they're not setting up and they're running off the board uh, what I like to see is a free leg thigh that gets to parallel um, wh when they're getting extension off the board they get nice separation of the thighs um, and that uh, they're keeping a nice posture um, you, the percentage is 35, 30, 35%. So a lot of times athletes are going way too far in their first phase, which causes a crashing effect and they lose distance on their, um, step. Um, another thing is that the athletes aren't landing, um, flat footed. They're trying to land on their, the ball of their foot. And so, um, because of that, what happens is the ball of the foot hits, they got to wait for the heel to come down and then they come back off. And, and again, if you're just standing there, you go on the balls of your feet and uh, you land, you engage a lot of muscles that are um, contrary or, you know, um, detract from what you want to do in uh, creating force and uh, creating um, a good support on the single leg and then getting off to the second. And so a good drill for that is the percentage drill. Uh, I think this is what I've been talking, telling a lot of coaches. And again, it's 35, 30, 35%. So for like a a triple jumper, they may just do, you know, four meters, three and a half meters, four meters, or they may do uh, 10 feet, eight feet, 10 feet. It's only, you know, 28 foot jump, but it gets them to really feel the uh, distribution of the jump. And it helps them coordinate the posture, coordinate the timing of their uh, phases and their, their arms. And uh, at, with anything, you can increase with that. So you may just go and put cones down at 10 feet, 18 feet, and then 28 feet, and they land in the sand. So you may use a 20-foot board for that. Um, but it gets them to learn that. And then you increase it to maybe like 12, 10, 12. Again, that's only 32 feet. So for a good high school female or jumper, that's not really that much for her. Or even a beginner, they can get the rhythm of that. Uh, for a boy, maybe... Uh, 16 feet, 14 feet, 16 feet, which is a 46 foot jump. So 50 foot high school triple jumper, that would be no problem for them to do um, and so forth. So it really gives you some good positions uh, from that standpoint. And again, uh, maintaining that, yes, you do take a little bit away from the hop, but it's going to increase the ability to get to your step. And the main thing about the triple jump is keeping your speed. It's like skipping a rock on water and maintaining the speed. Another drill I like to do is... Um, um, a drill where you're jumping over a wicket <clears throat> or a mini hurdle and you drop the free leg and you tap the top of the wicket. And so you can see these on my IG um, story. And if you go under Max Velocity Athletics, um, you can see it under there. So um, it's basically so that you can uh, work on that free leg, getting an even hop and staying balanced. So those are just a few drills that are good for uh, that and so uh, next week I'll come in with uh, the next questions that I've had. Uh, I've had, you know, multiple questions. I'm going to start off with the first 10 most asked questions. That's the one that's been asked the most recently. So um, keep checking in.